Yeah. Yes. Uh, good evening, one and all who are present here in the session. This side, Dr. Jyoti, currently uh, EC member of IIT Delhi Alumni Association, and I'm working as assistant professor in Department of Higher Education, Haryana. And today is the host for this session, ninth event in series of our initiative, She Inspired. Behind every successful woman is her self-commitment. And oh, just a second. Behind every successful woman is her self-commitment. Alice Walker said once, the most common way people give up their power is by thinking they don't have any. I, a woman can accomplish anything she wants as long as she decides to never fear anyone, dream and determine to follow them. There is no limit to what we as women can achieve. And an equal world is an enabled world. And with these lines, we, the team of this uh, initiative, She Inspire, express a warm welcome to our panelists who fit best for these lines. And uh, let me extend my warm welcome and a in brief introduction to our uh, speakers. First in the series, we have Madam Meeta Sharma, who obtained her BTEC degree in electrical engineering in 1999 from IIT Delhi. And she had obtained her PhD from Harvard University and MS from University of Southern California. Madam Meeta Sharma Gupta is the founder of Shumi, a venture that aims to bring back the joy of playing for kids through their simple yet engaging toys. The journey of Shumi was inspired by seeing her two boys play and engage with simple wooden toys. The art and craft of designing toys and kids products was a step into the unknown, but has been a rewarding journey as she truly believes in the philosophy of letting a child explore and grow naturally. Before venturing out into the world of business, Madam Mita was a researcher with IBM TJ Watson US and her research primarily focused on computer architecture and system design. Next, let me extend my uh, warm welcome to Madam Priya Sani, who obtained her master's in design degree in instrument design and development in 2012 from IIT Delhi. She is a global award-winning social media influencer and speaker business and marketing consultant by profession who has authored V2 Voices, a book co-authored by 50 successful, uh, successful women in India, worked with 100 plus brands and have been the motivational speaker and jury for Forever Miss India 2021. Now let me extend my warm welcome to Madam Reema Mahajan who obtained her dual degree in chemical engineering in 2006 from IIT Delhi. Madam Reema has been the founder of Dubai's largest women-only community group, Indian Women in Dubai, also well-known as IWD, and a Dubai-based lifestyle influencer too. Reema is an IIT and IIM graduate with experience of international management uh, consulting, but she decided to follow her passion for working with women. Her passionate agenda is women supporting women. Her IWD group currently has nearly 50,000 Indian women in its network. It is a social and business platform to empower women-led businesses. She has been featured on leading radio channels and newspapers, including Gulf News, Kali's Times, and Filmfare magazine. She is a recipient of multiple awards, including Inspiring Women of the Year 2021. Madam Rima's life mantra is, when women support each other, incredible things happen. She is on a mission to create opportunities for women to take the initiative and showcase their talent as well as creativity to the world. Next, uh, let me extend my warm welcome to Madam Rupam Jain Kapoor, who is IIT Delhi Mechanical Engineer Alumina from the class of 2006. She is currently working as a product leader with AP Moller Mask in London, UK. In her overall 15 years of experience, she has worn many heads, operations engineer, management consultant, program business leader in e-commerce, and more recently, product tech leader. The sheer breadth of and variety of experience across several industries has helped her gain a strong understanding of business and technology and transformed her into a well-rounded leader. Now, let me introduce the president, Kalpen Shukla, sir, who did his B.Tech in chemical engineering from IIT Delhi in 1984 and postgraduate in management from IIM Ahmedabad 
He is currently president of IIT Delhi Alumni Association as well as I am Ahmedabad Alumni Association. He has worked at many leading MNCs and associated with Thank You India Research Foundation. And before we start with the panelists, I request President Sir to say a few words for our initiative, She Inspire. Kalpain Sir. Thank you, Dr. Jyoti. Uh, I, I wanted to make that small uh, observation right in the beginning that I am not a speaker because I certainly don't fit into this eminent uh, panel of these four distinguished uh, ladies with uh, wonderful achievements on their individual career path. Uh, what is very uh, interesting, I would say, is uh, we are gradually and increasingly receiving wonderful response to this initiative, which started about uh, last year. As Dr. Jyoti rightly said, it's a ninth uh, episode in this series. And let me tell you honestly, it is quite popular uh, when we are uh, webcasting it because we host all these things. We also do live webcast of this entire session. And there is a great deal of curiosity amongst uh, people inside as well as outside IITs and particularly the successful stories of women in various walks of life, be as an entrepreneur or be as a corporate leader or a social worker. I think everything is very inspiring. And as a great sportswoman, uh, Serena Williams had uh, said once that the success of every woman should be the inspiration to another. We should raise each other up. Make sure you are very courageous, be strong, be extremely kind, and above all, be humble. In all modesty, of course, women need not be told that be humble. They are humble by nature. Uh, but at, at the same time, uh, I, I must say that uh, there is a wonderful breaking of glass barrier again and again by so many women. I think recently you saw a mighty advertising agency, the global CEO is a woman. Another mighty FMCG personal products company, Chanel, uh, Lena Nair is the global head. And I'm very happy to say she was my uh, colleague in Hindustan Lever. So when we hear the success stories, it is so very inspiring to learn from their life journey, the kind of opportunities that they avail, the kind of opportunities they give up the kind of challenges that they face and the way they overcome it. I think everything is remarkable. I must also add one more line here about our own institute. IIT Delhi very strongly believes in gender equality and therefore we actually have a dean for gender equality and inclusion. I mean, that's probably the first institute which has taken such a step and that's quite remarkable. Even during our Diamond Jubilee Closer event, the director in his presentation chose a woman entrepreneur to showcase as a success story of IITD alumni. And we are very proud to say that uh, Anu Meena was our colleague in the executive committee for two years and she is uh, making waves through her company AgroWave. Another interesting and equally inspiring story was Kirti Jangra and Neetu Yadav of Animal were invited to make presentation. In, now, these are all celebrations happening for during the closure of Diamond Jubilee of an Institute of Eminence. What a great honor for our women uh, successful achievers. And these stories we would love to collect, collate, and would be very happy to share with all our uh, alumni. So summarily, let me assure you, the association is as much yours as anybody else's. Please leverage it. Please share your uh, stories with us. And we would be very happy and grateful to share this joy of achievement and uh, publish it. Uh, thank you very much for uh, all, all your uh, joining us. Uh, we welcome you once again on behalf of uh, all the alumni across the globe. And we look forward to hearing you. Thank you once again. Thanks, Dr. Jyoti. Okay, thank you, sir. And uh, let's uh, start with the Meeta, ma'am. Our audience might be curious to know uh, what pulls you to start a venture related to toys for kids while being a researcher in the field of computer architecture. 
So, yeah. So first of all, uh, Dr. Jyoti and uh, Mr. Kalpin, thanks for having me here. It's an honor to be a part of this panel and to be with uh, the uh, other panelists here and uh, good to connect and hear all inspiring stories. Uh, so thank you so much. Uh, I would like to say that um, for me, this journey of Shumi started as something which I had not planned for. Like you said, Dr. Jyoti, I was into research and that was a path that I had chosen for myself. And I had through my different things that I had done, like that did my PhD from Harvard in computer architecture, was working at IBM Research. So being an entrepreneur was not something that I had definitely planned for, but it was something which happened. And it happened for me because after becoming a mom and being in the US for all these years, um, I could see uh, how, what play was doing for kids in the early years, especially for my uh, older one when he was in the US. We were exposed to different uh, philosophies of Montessori, Waldorf, Giglio, Emilia, something. And being as a mom, it started, I mean, I started getting interested in seeing that what does natural play do for kids? How do they learn? Because uh, we, are the, we are the, most of the times, uh, forget the importance of play and play is the superpower of a child. So through play in the early years, a child is learning all the important skills, the developmental milestones, everything is happening naturally when they are playing. And we as parents uh, more, more than, uh, are just more engaged in just giving them the product instead of just understanding what the toy or the game is doing for the child. And after moving to India in 2012, um, at that time, I was a mother of two. My younger one was nine months old. After moving back, I realized that in India, I did not, I could not find brands that I could trust for their the play engagement, for the quality, for the safety and the design. And it really surprised me because India is such a big market. I mean, there are so many kids. And why is this not an important part of our uh, whole journey as when we are... Uh, a journey of a parent and a child. Um, and at that time, I was, uh, I, was I, I used to struggle a lot to get the right kind of play toys for my kids. And uh, most of my trips to the US back with work would be to get things which would engage my kids in meaningful way. Uh, and that time it, I thought that, okay, I took it up as a challenge and said, okay, why not just bring a brand out of India, which looks at play in the early years, focuses on na how a child can develop while uh, playing through with safe and sustainable uh, toys. So the other thing that I really wanted this brand to be about is a, a made in India brand with uh, having the pillars of being eco-friendly, sustainable, working with artisans. It was a big uphill journey is what I would say, because uh, it was something which, first of all, I did not have any experience in. My education was all engineering based. It was computer architecture, nothing to do with design. I knew nothing, but I knew how to solve problems. My PhD degree or my education at IIT and other institutes uh, helped me with develop resilience, helped me develop different problem solving skills uh, and analytical skills. And that and also a lot of confidence that yes, we can do anything. We can, we just need to start and things will start falling in place. With this resilience and with this attitude is what I started Shumi and slowly and steadily we started finding our way uh, we started uh, finding manufacturers out of india because i that was one main pillar for me that it had to be a made in india brand with the quality of global toys so each of our product is uh, tested it's safe it is uh, tested against international and indian standards it is made in india but ready for the global markets uh, so uh, slowly and steadily we have been taking this journey and uh, we were really very happily surprised when we were mentioned by the prime minister and his monkey bath. And that was a big validation for us to know that what we are doing is right. And we are on the right path uh, in our journey here. Yes, you are right. Uh, uh, like being a mother, I also face the same kind of uh, problem. Like most of the toys are made in China and the, these kind of things. And like uh, searching and looking and finding a right toy for your uh, kid was really a, you know, time consuming kind of thing and made in India toys are very rare. Yeah. Right now we are uh, like uh, finding many things and uh, I'm happy that uh, there are many uh, initiatives by IIT, uh, IIT and itself. They are doing some uh, like experiment kind of thing, how to make a rocket with the wooden yeah. kind of things. So there are a lot of things now we are uh, getting, but uh, like uh, my child was eight year old. So eight year back, it was a 
a big problem. Yeah. I mean, so, there's another startup from IIT Delhi itself called uh, Smartivity, which focuses on this step yes. toys for older mm-hmm. kids. So this mm-hmm. is becoming an important area of focus and there's a lot that can be done. So, and we are very happy to be one of the pioneers in the early years that we have been looking at it. And, mm-hmm. um, uh, and yeah, so it's been a great journey so far and uh, hope to have Yes, I hope to grow it into a global brand. Too. Yes, yes. Thank you for bringing such a uh, wonderful thing into this world, yeah. <laughs> especially for Indian mother. It's a you know very big challenge to uh, search for these things. Yeah. So, also, like Dr. Jodi, you mentioned the struggles of a mom to find and understand. So the parent. So that's also another initiative at Shumi that we try to make it easier for the parents to understand what is play, what is development, what yes, are the toys exactly. that map to mm-hmm. it because. As a new parent, you already have too many things to handle. Yes, so, <laughs> yes exactly. Yeah. Uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, now, uh, uh, you want to say something else uh, uh, to our uh, audience? Uh, so I would also, I mean, I think I would like to start with saying that uh, uh, the whole journey and IIT Delhi has played a very important part in our journey. So this was one of, like for me, whenever I start thinking about my journey, it's been 27 years back is when I joined IIT in 95. And that was a big moment for me because it was something that I had dreamt about being an IIT and going there mm-hmm. and then going to IIT and being in such a prestigious- uh, Which and, hostel do you stay at the time? Uh, uh, so, so there was only one girl's hostel at that time, Kailash. Blank. <laughs> so in Kailash and towards the fourth year, Himadri had come up. So uh, yes. I think there's another one now. I've not been to IIT in a couple of years right now, but I think yes, there's now I one. think there are three hostels, two uh, yeah. uh, the Himadri and uh, one is this uh, Kailash. Yeah. <laughs> I've been oh. in both the hostels. Okay, so, yeah. uh, so I'm very much uh, curious to go to the uh, next panelist, uh, Madam Priya. Uh, uh, Priya, uh, are you uh, getting my voice? Yes, yes. Hi, yes. Jyoti, yeah. How are you? I'm very much curious to know which hostel do you stay because I was also at the same time when you were in IIT. In 2012, I was very much there. <laughs> but it never uh, so I've stayed. <laughs> yeah, so in my first year, I've stayed in Kailash. And okay. in the second year, uh, the new Himadari, like the new building. Yes, I've so... been in both the hostels. Uh, so you stayed there for two years. Yeah, for two years because okay. I have done a master's in industrial design from there. So, yeah, I, like uh, you just like everyone is smiling and I can see that the memories have been revived and uh, it's like I just want to go back. <laughs> they, those were like one of the best uh, years of uh, my life, I'm, life and I'm sure that it must be the case for like kind of all of us and um I uh, was, I'm from Chandigarh and I came to uh, like Delhi and that was like, I'm born in Delhi, brought up in Chandigarh. So came back again. My family was in Chandigarh where I was very nostalgic. Uh, you know, this was my first time stepping out of the family. So I learned a lot, like staying in the hostel and, you know, being a part of the institution, I learned like a lot and uh, being a part of a rendezvous. I was Miss Rendezvous during my tenure as well. And <laughs> yes. I used to participate like um, in the lifestyle, you know, the uh, fashion show. So yeah, so it's been a journey. I used to participate in the rock uh, event and I was the okay, lead singer right. out there in the rock uh, distortion air. So uh, two years distortion air, I, so I was there and um, like, I'm a singer as well. So this is one thing which has not, which I haven't shared, like, you know, because there are multiple as, uh, aspects to a person. So I was a part of Indian Idol. Um, I forgot the year, but season nine. So, okay. yeah. So these are the things. Um, yeah. <laughs> Everything just <laughs> so, revived in a second. So. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So uh, you have a lot of varieties in your choices of uh, work uh, you are doing. Uh, you have masters in instrument design and you are leading this world like a fashion diva <laughs> and at the same time you are an author for a book V2 Voices so how you manage so many things simultaneously <laughs> uh, so uh, Jyotiji it's like you know um, I-, I think it's not like so many things it's just you know aspects to one thing and it just propagates from there 
So, you know, one thing leads to the other. So I started as an industrial designer. I think uh, there is, uh, you know, there is a maybe spelling mistake there. You're saying, in, uh, but I don't know, industrial it's design, but it's industrial designer. No, industrial designer. Okay. So okay, I've done okay. my Very master's good. there. And uh, as uh, Meeta was mentioning that, you know, uh, you know, it's all of our dreams that, you know, we wanted to come to IIT. I wanted to come as an engineer, but then I realized that, you know, um, being a creative person, that was the best for me to come as a designer out there. And mm. after that, I have worked as a designer for four years uh, with Hero Motocop. And from there, you know, I just realized that, you know, I wanted to do something where I want to make myself a brand. And it was just an idea uh, of a friend uh, telling me in the gym that, you know, why don't you start with your own page when Instagram had just recently sprung. So I was like, okay, she's like, uh, you can just start helping each every person uh, like uh, the ladies out there with styling and fashion mm -hmm. and beauty I was like okay so I that very night I just went and made a stupid page with a stupid name uh, mm -hmm. because I just wanted to take action and slowly and steadily I learned and it was a journey where you know in between during that duration I was uh, doing consultancy in terms of business in terms of marketing but yes I was making my brand I did leave my job at that point of time for a few years just to focus on creating that brand because I needed time for myself and from there you know I then you know have uh, won different awards like uh, you know entrepreneur India has given me best lifestyle influencer award wow. and uh, after that I was called to various prestigious um, you know uh, events like uh, this uh, and uh, like I was called for Pan India IIT USA uh, Global Summit also uh, for uh, like where keynote speaker was Mr. Prime Minister uh, yes, Mr. Modi yes. and um, so I'm, I'm very glad uh, that you know this everyone tells me that you know you from IIT you're an intellectual person that's how they everyone perceives us and how are you here so uh, th that is, I think that is what has taken me everywhere. And that is, uh, I think, uh, you know, has um, created that interest of people in me, like how it is and how, how, like, as you said, how I manage it's, it's I don't think it's just management. I think it's just passion. It's just interest, which yes, I do. So exactly. right now I'm working um, as a um, um, head of growth marketing in an organization here in Vancouver, Canada. So I'm glad in what I do, as uh, uh, Mita, Mita said, that, you know, we are problem solvers. And, uh, you know, as a grown up, I believe uh, in a professional world that, uh, you know, it's, it's great uh, that we are doing problem solving. And uh, at, at our stage, I think we can do everything. I believe that I can do everything. And as far as a uh, motivation speaker is concerned, uh, I keep motivating myself. I understood the power of mind. You know, once uh, I lost my mother, I started to uh, get into the realm where I could understand what exactly and who exactly we are. And once I started studying about it, reading about it, getting, you know, reading more about it, and then I, you know, started propagating it, how we should lead our lives. And all that so and that's how you know I got an opportunity to write that book as well with uh, you know uh, the, uh, the the other corporate woman of the country and uh, um, you know being a part of uh, a pageant where I could motivate others be the jury member as well so uh, this is you know of uh, my journey and um, uh, as uh, as everyone uh, would agree and I would uh, again repeat that it was a dream to uh, be a part of the campus and um, IIT has given um, me a lot in terms of respect globally yes. and in terms of uh, people taking me seriously. Yes. Uh, they know right. that you have to, uh, you know, give uh, a pan India 
exam, a very tough uh, competitive exam. And then, you know, you have, uh, then you come to this platform, then you can join this uh, campus. So mm -hmm. they know that you have that determination, you have that in you, uh, which makes you different from others. And surely you, we're gonna put that in different aspects yes. of whatever we do. And that's why people take us seriously. And that's why I think we succeed. Yes, yes, exactly. So uh, how have you, uh, like your experience in participation of Rendezvous? Like we get uh, two, three uh, less uh, women who uh, participate in Rendezvous. Like, uh, like I'm a researcher, so I can't even think of uh, <laughs> participating. Like uh, I hardly go to attend. Participating is too far for me. <laughs> okay. So uh, uh, Jyoti, you know, I have been a person who has been like participating in events has been my life since the time I was a child. So uh, I I did get, uh, I fall ill, I fell ill, sorry, in the beginning uh, of my tenure in IIT. So oh. I was, I was having low blood pressure. I was hospitalized, in fact, because I was away from the, my family, I think. And I was very, I'm very close to my sister. So she went to Pune for her studies and I came here and I didn't understand what happened to me. Then I realized, okay, I'm missing my own self as well. And I'm not getting into the different activities. I did have a knee injury as well. So which stopped me from participating in different events. And IIT keeps having all kinds of events yes. like throughout the year, not just the rendezvous. So yes. I used to even cry. I still remember I used to call my dad and mom like saying that, oh, you know, I can't participate there because I'm having a leg pain. I can't walk. So um uh, I think that that thing just was in me and that's me and I just went out and participated and in fact I remember uh, you know uh, as you mentioned that girls are not there in the um, in rendezvous uh, for sure in fashion shows they are <laughs> and uh, I don't know yes. I mean uh, the people selected me just seeing me in the um, in IIT so I would say I was popular <laughs> in IIT even if I wasn't in rendezvous. So, um, yeah, I mean, it was, it was like a great experience. And um, I still cherish that time when we used to go, uh, you know, and practice till three o'clock in the morning, uh, being in Oat, open air theater. And yeah. I, I love the airplanes flying, uh, you know, <laughs> on the top. And I never have missed even a single one because I love watching them. Uh, we used to, go to the rooftop sit down there i mean lie down there and watch yeah. the planes flying. So, yeah. it like it, it is like one of the best times of my life yeah exactly exactly so these are really beautiful moments and thank you priya for being with us and uh, no, now thank you uh, so much for uh, giving me this opportunity uh, once again i would thank everyone and i would uh, uh you know congratulate and welcome my uh, panelists it's so good to hear so good things about you know women doing so many things out there from iit Yes, thank you. Thank you, Priya. And now uh, I would like uh, to ask Madam Reema to share her journey from IIT campus to uh, what she uh, have earned in uh, Dubai right now. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much, Jyoti Ji. And thank you. I think uh, firstly, a big, big congratulations to the whole Alumni Association, Kalpain Ji, your Satish Ji, your full team. Because uh, when Poonam reached out to me and she she dropped me a Facebook message that we do this series called She Inspires, would you be interested in coming? I did not even think twice. You know, after 15 years, you get a chance to reconnect to campus. Nobody will ever think twice. I was like, I don't know what I'm signing up for, but can't be in. <laughs> and it's only two days back I asked, okay, please tell me the format of the, of the <laughs> series. But I'm just excited to connect with everybody from the same campus. Uh, Rupam is here, Rupam and Poonam and I, we were all at around the same time at IIT Delhi, so it brings back very, very fond memories of being there. Um, to all those who don't know me, hello everybody, I'm Reema Mahajan, I run Indian Women in Dubai, which is an online community of 50,000 ladies coming together on online platforms. We do events online and we do events offline. Uh, we have a social mission of connecting people, making friends, celebrating events, given we are all expats here in Dubai. And we have a business mission of empowering women-led businesses, which is where I spend majority of my time on. 
uh, when I started IWD, I had moved here from London. We'd been in London for a for a couple of years after IIT, IIT and IIMs. Uh, so we were there for eight uh, eight years. And when I landed in Dubai, I did not have any friends. And I'm a very social person from people who know me. So we started this little community, and it's completely grown by word of mouth today to fifty thousand. And I think we cover the Indian expat population pretty well here in Dubai. Uh, we are proud to be called the Google for Indian women in Dubai. Ask us a question. Wow. <laughs> Fire away your doubt and you will get recommendations from the members of our community, which are faster than Google and also tried and tested by the members of the community. Uh, we are also called family away from family. That's how we got covered in leading newspapers because we provide that support system here for expats to come together. Uh, how IWD is run, we run them on three important pillars. So our first pillar is empowering women. We have uh, 5,000 women entrepreneurs on our community and we drive a lot of initiatives to give power to these women entrepreneurs. Because you know what happens in Dubai, Dubai by the very nature of it is an expat country. So most of the women would move here with their families, with the husbands getting job and the women being, you know, being at home and not able to find good jobs. Uh, so we provide them opportunities to work from home. We give them ideas. We, we give, provide that support system to come together. Uh, more than 5,000 entrepreneurs come together every Sunday. We do a um, feature called Small Business Sunday, which is the most busiest day of the week for us. Uh, we also run job portals where we house you know, any good jobs going around in UAE. So that's kind of a very nice job platform for the women to come together in Dubai. Um, our second, second pillar of growth is celebrating women. So, you know, while we empower women, we also celebrate their achievements. So we run a feature called IWD Recommendations, which is a, a feature which I do and also women from the community do that whenever we work with somebody else, uh, you would go on the platform and do a very lovely recommendation post for them. Uh, I mean, I would just say how beautiful is that women recommending women? You know, people say women yeah. can't work together. We are on a mission to prove it wrong. <laughs> and exactly. Last year, we launched something called Indian Women Dubai Awards Season 1, uh, which was our initiative to recognize the top 30 women working across different areas in Dubai and give them that platform for the world to know more about them. Our initiative was immensely successful. I am very happy to share uh, that tomorrow, we have the second uh, version of Indian Women Dubai Awards. Uh, so it's our second biggest, uh, second season is here. And I, when I started last year, I wouldn't believe that second season would happen, but bigger and better from here, I would say. Yeah. And um, our third uh, uh, mission is in giving back to the society. So we work with a lot of local foundations and charities to for women to give their time, give their energy, sometimes sponsor events. Uh, so that, you know, we, we give them that platform to connect back and give it back to the society. So tomorrow, for example, at the awards, we have two uh, rounds dedicated to cancer survivors and children with special needs who are going to come up on stage. And it's all about awareness about them and all. So uh, that's what IWD is in a nutshell. Um, I am a chemical engineer from IIT Delhi. I am an MBA who did uh, you know, her specialization in strategy and finance. I worked with Bain for a couple of years after campus. I never knew I would land in this world. But I, I would be honest, in the 13, 14 years of my experience, I, I love IWD and I love what I do. So I just enjoy the journey so far. So, so uh, do you find any difference in the mindset of uh, women living in Dubai from the women living in India? So do you feel uh, any difference? There is a difference because, you know, in India, when you're in India, you have the support system. You have friends and family with whom you've grown up to. Uh, where you have, you can call your mom very, very quickly versus Dubai. You know, parents cannot come that quickly. You are, most of the families here are nuclear families. Uh, they would move here with their kids and just the two of them. So I think uh, that's why expat communities connect a lot more uh, in, with the friends. Because uh, I cannot call my family here that quickly, right? They would only come once a year for 10 days or a month. But uh, the rest of the, uh, the 11 months of the year, you are here with your friends. So, yeah. <laughs> so, how so are, are I, yeah. I, I am surprised why we don't have a Dubai chapter as yet. We should yeah, start exactly. one and I'm very happy to volunteer and give you all the support that we can. We should, we have lots of alumni here, That's but uh, I don't think uh, there is a concise effort to get them all together on one platform. I know a lot of my friends and, you know, people I know from campus, but uh, we've never had an alumni association meetup. We just meet I, up personally on one-to-one -one basis. I, I think you should start uh, working with this idea of having a Dubai chapter or maybe Middle East chapter where you can possibly rally around all the IITD alum. 
Yes. And I'm, I'm sure within no time, we will be able to have some vibrant presence there. Yes, absolutely. Let's do that. Let's talk offline. Done. Diwali is coming. Sure. Perfect time for a Diwali meetup. And, you know, we started. Agree. Agree. Thanks. Thanks, Rima. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, thank you, Rima. And now, very... Rima, uh, thanks. <laughs> you, Poonam, you want to ask something? <coughs> no, no, you can go ahead. I mean, we have... Okay. Other <laughs> last week. Thanks. Okay, okay, thank you. And now, uh, let's move on to the next speaker, Madam Rupam Jain Kapoor. Uh, Madam Rupam, are you uh, getting my voice? Yeah, I can hear you, Jyoti. Yeah, yeah thank you. Uh, can you share uh, something from your journey from IIT campus to till date? <laughs> Yeah, sure. Um, and first of all, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Jyoti and uh, Mr. Galpin for giving this opportunity. I feel really honored. And, you know, after hearing uh, from the panelists already, I, I feel inspired to do so much more because now when I compare my career progression with all of them, I feel it's, it's much more on the boring side of things. It's been mostly focused on the combat side. Um, but yeah, I think, uh, let me tell you about my journey as well. Um, so uh, before I start or you know about the journey after IIT, I think I should tell you briefly about where I come from. Um, so I come from a you know small town in Rajasthan. I come from a family where you know I had I didn't I didn't know any woman uh, working. Uh, that was like twenty years ago. So uh, of course I was good at school, and that all led to you know me coming to IIT. So. But I remember I was really shy. I was really awkward because it was very different from what I had seen or what I had known <laughs> in my life. And I, I think I'm still a little awkward, <laughs> so to speak. Um, so I was one of those people who didn't know after IIT or you know towards the end of IIT what they wanted to do. Um, so there's some of my friends you know that they wanted to get into research. I knew that I didn't want to do that. Uh, so corporate life made sort of an obvious choice for me. Um, so being a mechanical engineer, you know. Um, I chose to go into engineering career, I know, at Vich Um And Vich I was given this opportunity to essentially, you know, as part of, you know, team of team engineers who were, um, who had this project to build like a world-class um, research and technology center in India. So our job was essentially travel to other uh, centers around the world and learn the best practices and come and implement them in India. Um, so it was really good for a long time. I traveled a lot. I made a lot of friends, connects, and uh, unfortunately, then in 2009, uh, the, the project I was working on was shut down. So um, because of the whole global economy crisis, um, and then that led to uh, almost more than 50% of my team getting laid off. And thankfully, I was given an opportunity to either stay in India or um, you know, go to Aberdeen, Scotland, uh, <laughs> and work as a field engineer there, or you know, mechanical engineer, which would be more front end. Now, in terms of the role, I think uh, you know, if you were to ask me that, the the role in Aberdeen made more very obvious sense to me. Uh, but at the same time, I was 24 years old. I was not sure if I wanted to go to a place where I didn't know anyone. Um, and uh, but I took took a risk. I was. Uh, <laughs> very stubborn at that time and I decided to travel and stay there for two years. Um, I think a couple of things I think I would say is that I think at early stages of, of your career it always helps to you know to you know be a little more risk taking and be stubborn for what you want. I think that pays off well to percent. Um, after that I came back to India, did my MBA and uh, joined consulting for a few years. I think that was probably one of the best decisions I, I, I had because uh, consulting gave me a really good exposure on all the organizations, sectors, how, how different companies work, how, you know, how to communicate with different level of leaderships. And um, yeah, I think overall ways of working, what is right and what is not. Um, and I did good, I was growing, but then reality of being a woman hit, uh, hit me and you know, I, I wanted to start a family. And the consulting life was, was you know, there a lot of traveling and, um, yeah, just a lot of work, long hours, 16 hours a day. And, and so, so I couldn't poke up beyond a point. And that's when I, I moved into e-commerce sector. So, um, and I think consulting gave me, gave me this perspective of on what I want to do. Uh, and uh, e-commerce was one sector, technology was, was one area that I really wanted to uh, you know, go to after consulting. Um, and I had really good seven, eight years. Um, I started in the business side of things and then 
um, I gradually wanted to do more product and technology because that was giving me um, opportunity to solve more long-term problems and understand how technology can innovate uh, so many new things to then solve the longer uh, long-term problems. Um, and then I had lovely kids around the same time, so things were uh, doing good. I actually moved to the UK very recently, just three months ago, for a job opportunity. Um, and uh, yeah, currently working, like like you said, in the product technology space also. Uh, Jyoti is speaking on mute if you are. I can't hear you. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> uh, I was looking into your profile and I saw uh, that you have worked at Flipkart, Amazon, and uh, this Ola. So, yeah. all these were a new kind of thing at that time, probably when you have just started your career. Yeah. E commerce, uh, you know, so this might be a challenging thing for you to uh, choose this uh, as a career uh, for you. Yeah, I think it was uh, the reason I chose e-commerce at the time, because if, if you think about it, I, when I was doing consulting, it was primarily focused on financial and business due diligence. So it wasn't much in technology side. But mm -hmm. I liked e-commerce at the time, which was back in 2014 or, or 15, I think, because um, because you are the customer of e-commerce, right? So anything that you do, either in business side or technology side, you can very that you, you feel the direct impact of that. And that yeah. really excited me. Like I was a customer of Ola, I was the customer of Amazon, I was the customer of you know, Flipkart, and I know what the customer pains and I you know how we can solve some of those problems through technology or through other operational uh, drivers that you may have. So I think that is one thing that really excited me about it. In terms of, uh, you know, the, the work-life balance, of course, as you can imagine, even in e-commerce sector in India, it's not that, uh, not, not that good. So you do have long hours and you have to manage work better, but I think I, I'm used to it by now. <laughs> so so yeah, uh, you, that, told, that you told fine. me that uh, you belong to Rajasthan and uh, very, uh, you know, yeah. uh, very uh, humble and uh, family. So how were your uh, uh, days uh, while preparing for uh, IIT, uh, JE? Uh, yeah. I was, um, it, I mean, of course it was, um, I was very focused uh, and I think that that really helped me that time and thankfully social media wasn't there. So it distracted me a <laughs> the lot. The distractions were not there, yeah. Yeah, and, yeah, but yeah, I mean, um, see, I think a lot of us may have experienced it, right? That you were a topper in your school, right? But when you come to IIT, you realize that everybody else has been a topper in their school. Yes. So exactly. you, you, like okay, <laughs> you get to know your real depth, and uh, yeah, I think that's what I also experienced <laughs> initially. <laughs> so how how were your days uh, at uh, hostel in IIT? Which hostel do you stay? I was in Kailash, and the first day of my uh, host uh, first day of my uh, hostel days, I met Rima because she was my senior at Kailash. Okay, oh, senior, nice. actually. So she was like orientation and everything. So I had a really close bond. I feel that I have a close bond with Rima because of that. <laughs> I, <laughs> I think I probably the... ragged her in the first uh, week. <laughs> I, I remember Rima, Rima the, the very from the ragging time. I remember that one scene wherein I think Roop Swamini was asking Rupam Jen, okay, now say Kailash ka and through high hai. Kailash ka and through high hai. <laughs> <laughs> was the one person who was like, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I think I was the one who made them put oil on their head and take pillowcases oh, too. Three chotis and three chotis also gave done. Chotis like a job class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Definitely Poonam and Rupam ka dono ka to maine kiya hai. <laughs> I, 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 must, I must tell you ladies that you, you, you are spared from the kind of ragging that took place in the boys hostel. So I would not like to, I, I would not like to get into the details, but I am yeah, really yeah. finding it very funny that after yeah, all yeah. these 15, Our 20 years. Was... You, you Our know, also, to the level um, we can share with you. Yeah. <laughs> it's also amazing to see that over the years, the kind of things seniors make juniors do <laughs> remain the same. <laughs> like, because what you guys are discussing is what we had done for our seniors, and then we made our juniors do. So, we pass on the tradition. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Yeah, Puna and I did that too, as juniors. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it was very tough for we boys, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I still remember it. Yeah.
Don't we... don't don't scare them with the details. Narendra, stay away from it. I can't. Uh, <laughs> if I if I start uh, narrating. Uh, details i probably will be scared by i'll be scaring myself yes yeah, as anybody else <laughs> so uh, one thing i'm uh, if i can recall we used to have this informal when the girls used to play you know drums and every you know instrument and i was so you know so happy to see and i just feel ki yaar matlab it's such a good talent na and i can't go for it playing guitar and so uh, most of the beat takers are you know very uh, fascinating in doing all these things <laughs> so yeah. any one of you uh, know guitar or playing drums or something like this udam is amazing at singing i think yeah. i remember yeah. when- um i i used to send her for all the singing competitions in the hostel mein sare hostel mein jao gana ga ke yeah yeah i think she's done all she's represented kalash in all the possible even rupa i think used to sing for us yeah so i think humne we we find the talent even if it doesn't exist we'll make them do it <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, from here, you, you know what Reema is saying. So I, I have sung like as I mentioned that I've, I've been a singer all my life, mm-hmm. but I had never sung rock. I <laughs> was not a rock singer. So <laughs> which is zabardasti, you know? They took me. Okay, okay. So the song comes. Okay, that's mm-hmm. all right. हमें हमारे कॉलेज की सॉरी हमारे हॉस्टल की इज्जत का सवाल है गो गो देयर एंड इट्स आवर टाइम एंड यू हैव टू नाउ प्रिपेयर द सॉन्ग एंड देन गो एंड आई समहाउ डिड इट एंड आई एम सो ग्लैड एंड आई दे मेड मी हैव हैव अ रेड बुल लाइक इन द बिगिनिंग एंड वो क्राउड था वहां पर एंड आई आई वाज वेयरिंग अ ड्रेस एंड आई कुड सी द क्राउड आई वाज गेटिंग स्केयर्ड बट यू नो देयर वाज दिस थिंग इन मी के स्टेज पे आके आई जस्ट फॉरगेट एवरीथिंग सो आई I went there and I said that I'm bad at names. I'll forget the names and uh, yeah, no. I asked my uh, co-singer just to introduce, um, you know, everyone. Like, pura band ko ap introduce karna. So she forgot the guitarist. She was my friend. Like the guitarist was my friend. <laughs> Then I went there. I don't know who Bull, Red Bull ka sir tha ki. I was like, I sang like it was a rock uh, performance. And then I introduced like you know she forgot to introduce <laughs> my fellow guitarist and her name is this. <laughs> So yeah, it's been it's been amazing. You know, we are just reviving every moment. Yeah. It's so nice. So you really develop a thick skin. I mean, you embarrass yourself so much in those four years. Whatever happens now, I don't care anymore. Like Rupa, you said you go, you realize your depths and everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just sorry to interrupt you, uh, ladies. Yeah. Uh, 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 this is for Poonam. Poonam, now you have more uh, people for the event which we have planned for singing here. Yeah. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> yeah. So so let's let's form it up and make sure that in the next couple of days we form up the singers for that event here, right? Yes, yes. Now now I'll get Priya also on to, into loop. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so you have one more candidate or two more candidate for the singing yeah. competition. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Would love to understand what it is. It's just a surprise, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there are various communities that uh, that uh, that keep do- doing events uh, like this. Is she inspires, which is all about women sharing their journey, women of IIT sharing their journey. And then we have uh, other other communities that caters to the startup uh, startup ecosystem, or there are other communities that cater to the uh, lifestyle uh, ecosystem of the. of i attend and various other ka communities are there so uh, we will keep you we will add you to the groups and of course you'll get introduced to the various activities which uh, alumni association is doing for the betterment of our alumni sure sure would love yeah. to thank you so yeah uh, jyoti please yes uh, uh, punam uh, now i pass on the baton to you for conveying the vote of thanks <laughs> <laughs> okay thank you thank you jyoti uh it was uh, i mean i i'm so glad that uh, in such a short span of uh, the invitation being sent to my panelists they agreed to be on the pan on the panel discussion uh, across globe i know uh, there are people i mean rupam she is in london and then priya she is in vancouver and there are other people out of india so managing the times and all that uh, so thank you so much for uh, giving uh, 
uh, giving your consent to be part of this panel discussion. And I thank the Alumni Association for giving the platform for us uh, alumni from IIT Delhi to share their journey. And I thank the, uh, the speaker, uh, hello. Yeah. Yes, you're audible. Yeah. And I thank uh, Alumni Association staff members to organize this uh, event, uh, having paid their uh, uh, effort into making this event happen. And uh, yes, thank you so, uh, so much, my dear panelists, to have shared your journey for us, uh, for us to learn from your inspiring, uh, inspiring journey. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And uh, I welcome you all to be part of our other community that we were talking about. And I look forward to more such enriching sessions. And uh, yeah, please do uh, tell about Alumni Association's uh, initiative to your friends so that we can connect with them and uh, learn from their journey with also. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Rima. Thank you, Priya. Thank you, Meeta. And thank you, Rupam, for all your time. And to my audience also who have come here on a Saturday evening to listen to our stories. So thank you. Thank you, everybody. And all the best to be again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank, thanks, Dr. Jyoti, for yeah. conducting yeah. the session. And thanks, all the panelists. Do keep yeah. in touch with us. And mm -hmm. we'll be very happy to remain connected and uh, share more yeah. information about what we do. And of course, listen to you also as to what you have been doing in your career path. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you, everyone. Let's, let's, this connection be now a permanent one. Yeah. For the association. <laughs> yeah, incidentally, in, Ca in Canada, we have very strong uh, IIT alumni group. I, I don't know whether mm -hmm. uh, you you are familiar with it, but uh, in case if you are not part of these mm -hmm. groups, do let us know. We will connect. I will add. I will add, a, I will add a, Correct. We will connect you with the local <laughs> alumni. There are quite many of them. At least 120 oh, IIT sure. alum would be there in yeah. Canada. Oh, wow. yeah. Okay. So it's I'm a very a very large group. Yeah, I'd love to. For sure. Yeah. Thank Good. You. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. All the best to everybody. Take care. Yeah. Thank you.